hello and welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to solve the differential equation dy over dx is equals to sine 5x using the finite difference method in the interval of uh, a value of x from 0 to 10 with the initial boundary condition y at x0 is 2 the exact solution to this differential equation using analytical method is y of x is minus cos 5x over 5 plus 11 over 5. So what we have to do is to convert this derivative under the final di difference scheme as this. There is a derivative at any value of x is the value of the function at the next value of x minus the value of the function as the previous value of x divide by h and h is the value that is close to zero then by substituting the value of dy dx into dy over dx equals to sine 5x it will end up have y y subscript i plus 1 equals to y subscript i plus h sine 5 subscript i x where y plus subscript i plus 1 is the next value and y subscript i is the previous values so what we have to do is to change the index of i here so that it start from from uh, 1 so by doing that what we have to do is we will let we will set i to be i minus 1 so if we replace i here the i minus 1 we are going to have y i then here will become i minus 1 and, F, and also x will become x subscript i minus 1 so there therefore the value the, the next value of y will be this previous value plus h times sine times 5 times the previous value of x the value of i will now start from 1 to n and the value of n which is the number of the values of x between this bound between 0 to 10 is given by the upper bound of x which is 10 minus the lower bound of x here which is 0 divided by the h which was chosen to be very close to 0 so that the value of x the next value of x will be its previous value plus that value of h for i runs from 1 to n so this is a scheme for a finite difference method it can be used to solve any first order differential equation we are given the boundary condition y at x0 is 2 and the bound between 0 to 10 so these are the steps first step one we have to import the required libraries that we need the first from the inbuilt python math library we import sign because we need sign from the right hand side then we need numpies because we have to create a sequence of numbers initially so we import zeros from the numpy package then we need to plot our solution form of graph so we need to import a pi plot from the matplot library then we call it plt as an alias then the next step is to now to enter our parameters of this differential equation let's start with the bounds so our upper bound is 10 our lower bound we know is 0 which we obtain from this 0 to 10 then our h we can choose our h to be 0 0.1 can choose any value as far as close to 0 then our n is going to be equals to integer which we need to convert then we say the upper bound minus the lower bound divide by h they will to convert it to h which will truncate the decimal values then let's run this first to be sure then we come down here then this our input values that we have the upper bound is 10 the lower bound is 0 then the h will be this then the number of values of x between the interval 0 to 10 will be this then initially we need to set all the values of x to be zero so we say zeros and because we need n values of them so the, that means x naught will be zero x1 will be zero x2 will be zero x3 will be zero up to xn will be zero then also our solution which is y 
we can set them to be at zeros then bracket n that means we are going to form a sequence of values of y all the values of y will be zero which are the which are our solution y not to be zero y1 will be zero and the rest so then this is what we have for our input the upper and lower bound the value of h then the number of points then we have the initial value we initialize all the values to be zeros and the solution also to be zero the solution is y it will be zeros then we click run to see if there's any error so there's no error we come down to step three where we input the boundary condition or oh, yeah since it's the first order differential equation so we have only one boundary condition that is y of zero is two the that y of zero two means what we know is that y in the form of an array that the first value of y should be two so that is the initial value this zero means the first value of y in this value should be two because since all the values of y are zero but we are told that initially the value the first value has to be two then again the first value of x because x told that start from zero and x at 10 so we can just take the first value of x show us to be zero so these are the these are the boundary condition here we have the first value of x will be zero the first value of y will be zero then the next thing is to get our loop now we said for i in range the range actually is a sequence that will start from one because of this one we write because the value of our i here has to start from one so that we have to start from one all the way up to n then what we do with it then we need to write this equation into a python that this will be y open square braces i is going to be equal to the previous value of y that is um, i minus one then plus h times sine which we import before as you can see we put sine before then open bracket then five times the previous values of x plus value of x which is i minus one so this is what we have then the next is we need to update the value of x so the next value of x will be now be the previous value of x i minus one then plus the step height which is h so and that is what we have here yeah, can cross check we start from an interval from one to n then we enter this equation which update the value of y which is the previous times h times five times the previous value of x the next thing we are to plot now we are to plot we are to plot uh, we say plt the package we import here from uh, matplot, matplotlib.pyplot which we call as plt then there is a method on it which we call plot so we see plt.plot then what we want to plot the value of x on the x-axis and the value of y on the y-axis then finally we see plt then show this will show us the graph we have so click on run so this is the solution of the differential equation using the finite difference method so this is a solution now what we have to do we want to compare this solution with the exact the exact is this y of x equals to this equals to that so what we need to do here we have to come back we have to come back here we have to come so what we are going to do we have to come back here and then try to um try to find the value so we can come right up here and see uh, again our annals uh, anal, our anal solution our anal solution is going to be zeros zeros of 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 n this is our, this is our analytical solution that is this one that we got which will be zeros then we click run they will set the boundary condition also will be also be the same anal anal sol 
and also at the first value first value will also be 2 because they will agree with that of y both of them will agree we have this value of 2 initially that of y also have the value of 2 which we click run then we come here for each value of uh, x we need to find they will see our y our an anal the anal sol then this which you need now to update because now the, our index will start from one because we are taking care of the index of zero so it's going to be this value we need to write minus cos 5x over 5 minus 5 cos s over 5 so we need also need to import cos so say import cos then we click run they will come here we we'll click also run they will come here also click run then here we need to have minus open bracket and cos of 5 uh, 5x that is x which is the value of x now we have we have a value of x which is this which is x1 which we are going to get uh divide by 5 then plus 11 divide by 5 so which we are going to get as our value so what we do we take this solution here and bring it below before we update after we update the value of x down here so this we now no, get the value because we know the value at x0 which we already know so this is the value of at x1 we're able to compute this value at our this so we click uh, run if it is okay then we need to plot again again we plot another we say plot then command we combine the two graph we put x again command then we put anal sol anal sol and these are the two values click on plot we'll see the two values come very close close very close so let's put a legend we'll say p plt dot legend legend we have uh we have the first one uh numerical 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 then uh, and uh, uh, exact they will click on run so as you can see the value they are very close thanks for watching that's all for this video